Frances Adeline Miller married William Henry Seward in 1824, she envisioned Henry following a similar career trajectory to her father's as a prominent local judge. Instead, Henry became involved in national politics, but Frances preferred to remain in Auburn, New York, running the household and taking part in local activism rather than participating in the political circles of Albany and Washington, D.C. The correspondence of the Seward Family Digital Archive is rich with details about Frances's life and views, including discussions on religion, health, education, anti-slavery efforts, and the roles of women within the home and outside of it. You know, really there are very few um, collections of women's materials uh, that are so complete and so comprehensive over decades um, of a woman's life. So during the time I was working on the project, I started working with a lot of Francis's letters. Um, initially, Francis comes off as uh, a little critical, uh, a little bit judgmental, and uh, maybe a bit of a challenging personality. She's been presented in a lot of histories as an invalid and a recluse, um, but when you read her letters over a long period of time, you realize that she was a very social woman. She was very friendly and warm. Um, she has decades of letters from friends and family, acquaintances who she's tried to help. Um, you know, made very kind offers to many people, anything from um, borrowing a tea service to providing a home. And when you read a lot about the context, you read the things that she was up against, the, the physical and, and mental health issues that she faced, that most of which had very little effective treatment or resolution, um, and the roles and responsibilities that she was required to fulfill as a 19th century wife and mother. Um, almost everything she does seems very, very rational, really. She, she was very resilient. I have a lot of great examples of Frances um, Seward. Uh, one of them actually involves her home in uh, Auburn, New York. It was actually deeded to her by her father after his death, uh, taking advantage of Married Women's Property Acts um, in the 1830s and 40s. And Frances actually uh, considers mortgaging her own home uh, to provide the funds for her son to start a business. And so that's, you know, one of the, one of the great ways in which she's exerting her own economic independence uh, in the 19th century, making use of um, changing legal definitions. My work studying Frances definitely showed me a different side of her personality and one that I don't think was ever reflected in the current historiography. Frances definitely had access to higher political offices than most women of her time would have, so her views at least had a chance of reaching people that they could be actionable. Um, her influence on her husband was certainly notable. She was always a more committed abolitionist than he was, where he had to play politics and appease people. She felt that um, that was a straight line that there was no compromise for. At the same time, she also was very traditional in her beliefs <clears throat> that you should try to influence and you should be a moral compass, but that you, as a woman in the 19th century, should do it from home and put that influence on your husband and your sons and not agitate publicly. Um, even with things like uh, the temperance movement, even though she had seen the damage that was done by alcoholism within her own family, when a group of women approached her and asked her to participate and even mentioned that they were going to have their work published in the newspaper, um, Frances wrote a very long diatribe on how these women were taking their time and attention away from their proper sphere at home. Um, but that she donated financially anyway. She did support the cause. She just didn't believe it should be done by women publicly. Um, these 19th century women were uh, asserting their individual identities um, and women in the 21st century are attempting to do the same and in some of the same ways uh, in health, in politics, uh, in religion. So. Um, I'm really excited about this project. I'm very honored that Francis is a part of it. Uh, I've had the great opportunity to use all of these digitized letters, um, which has made my research so much easier. Um, I, I'm very thankful for that, and uh, I'm excited about this, where this project will go.